Welcome to the Release Your Blocks podcast. I am your host, Victoria Bond. I am a spiritual empowerment coach. I help teach others to show up to their potency so they can fulfill their mission here on earth. I am so glad you are here. And if you are interested in becoming a medium, if you're interested in becoming a life coach, or if you're interested in shifting your life from the 3D to live more in the 5D reality, then check me out book a clarity call and let's get chatting. Being spiritually aligned, being healthy and being wealthy all work in together. So here's the thing, up until this point we have only believed that we can have one or the other. We can't have healthy relationships and money or we can't have healthy relationships and money and be healthy. And there's a reason for this, and that is because our consciousness has been shifting and changing every single generation. Now, many of us have got this trauma from being brought up because we didn't get something from our parents or there was some type of, you know, verbal or physical abuse, which was seemingly accepted or possibly accepted. But now we know that it's not actually appropriate. It's not okay to put people into boxes or to have expectations of who they're going to be and what they should do and all that type of stuff. But the thing is, back then, it was a survival mechanism. So, of course, when we start having a generation that are having it all, They are having the wealth, they're having their healthy relationships, and they are healthy with their human as well as their mind and their spiritual connection. They get some confusion in the collective energy. And this is what we are going through at the moment as our collective energy is completely shifting and we're starting to say, hang on a minute, we can have it all. Hang on a minute, why can't we have it all, right? And we're cleaning up the DNA and the conscious beliefs that we've had up until this point, up until the these recent timelines, where it has literally been like, actually, we can't be a mumtrepreneur and we can't have it all because there it's just not available. You know, it was only not that long ago we were in these incredibly Uh, violent wars that someone must die for someone else to survive now this was definitely you know an old paradigm and we and our parents and our grandparents and our grandparents before that are these pave makers these creators we are the ones who are shaping this new earth and the consciousness is shifting and shifting now it has always been shifting of course but It is accelerating. It's accelerating and now we are bringing through a lot of different variances of language like light coding. We're starting to acknowledge our children as not just to keep the the name going, just to keep that bloodline going. It's, It's not about that anymore because that doesn't actually matter so much when it comes to, you know, kings and queens and highborn and whatever. It's actually more about these children coming in and leading the way and helping us to have this galactic uh, connection and this interdimensional relationship with the earth, with the different planets. And in this space is what we call the 5D space. We can not only time travel with ease, but we can manifest with emotions and thoughts Now, this is a concept that's becoming a lot more uh, known with the Eckhart Tolls of the world and we've got the Tony Robbinses of the world, a lot of mindset stuff, a lot of manifestation, the secret, all of these different things, which, you know, the secret and Eckhart Tolle and Teal Swan, they all seemed a little bit woo-woo, you know, um, five years ago or even 20 years ago. It was kind of like, oh, yeah, that kind of stuff. And it doesn't work that way type of thing. But it was this seed, the seed that was planted. And then what is happening is generation after generation after generation are being born. And they're starting to actually wake up. And they're starting to actually acknowledge that, yes, in fact, 
they can have what they want. And whereas we're turning around and we're saying, oh, these children are spoiled and you can't have everything you want and good things come to those who wait and all of these sayings that have been said, the truth is, that is old paradigm. So where we felt the trauma from our parents, where we felt the the residue from the wars that our grandparents were in, where we felt and encountered these the, the trauma within the DNA and all of that type of stuff, we are now having to acknowledge that we can clean that up for our future generations. And not only that, our children are going to turn around and go, why did you do this or this or this or this? They're still going to have to experience a reality of, whoa, mum and dad, you are so old school. This is how you function in the olden days. I cannot believe that the school system was like that or the government was like that. That was insanity. Could you people not see? And it's not that our intelligence is turning up. It's all of the other. It's not that kind of mental intelligence. It's actually more about the emotional intelligence, the cleaning out of the ancestral kind of trauma Um, from the old paradigm of consciousness so now we can come in fresh and realigned and activate the DNA and when I say activate the DNA it is all about remembering your soul's purpose it's all about remembering why you came here in this timeline and your mum and her mum before that and her mum before that or you know whatever line that we're working in, they did and went through and endured what they went through so you could be where you are at now. There is no mistake why you chose them and why they chose you. Even if it seems like there was abuse, even if it, or even if there was, you know, traumatic, um, any type of abuse, um, it's, it's not making it right and it's not uh, saying, you know, it's okay that I went through that because da 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 da. Um, it is more a deeper understanding of the soul and why you're here now. So, what is the purpose of me saying this to you? You can be spiritually aligned, you can be healthy. And you can be wealthy and you can have fantastic relationships. In fact, relationships and how we communicate with each other is the whole entire point. Otherwise, why would we be here with all of these humans? Why would we be having these families and these communities? Why would we be coming together in protest of what we want to shift? Why would there be the separation right now? of people stepping up and saying, no, we are allowed to be healthy. We are allowed to be wealthy. We are allowed to be spiritually aligned. We are allowed to have relationships. We can have it all. Although our grandparents may not have been able to have it all, the consciousness has shifted and the new earth that we are creating now is extremely profound. And the children that are coming in are extremely gifted. We see a lot of children that um, we would say are on the spectrum. We would say that these children uh, may have ADHD, autism, um, OCD, um, learning difficulties. And these children are very 5D. Now, right now, the 5D, you, the 5D dimension is not as stable as the 3D because we are going through a transition. We're going through this transition and we must understand the 4D and the shadows and the trauma that we have been through throughout our lineage to get a grasp and an understanding of what it means to be 5D. And this is something that I I pride myself in bringing into my programs like Magnificent Mediumship. It's not so much about the learning to speak to dead people as it is about the learning to get out of your head and into your knowing and into a higher level of consciousness where you can allow yourself to perceive in a way that is very expansive. This is where we heighten our gifts, our superpowers, and our knowing. So it's not about I want to see a ghost, right? 
It's about what happens when I let myself, my imagination go wild and I accept myself as I am and I trust myself and I'm powerful within myself. This is the energy and my intention to bring forward as people awaken the seed of consciousness within themselves and therefore they help to to clean out that the that, that ancestral um, line that came before them. And in fact, even if we have children that are born now and we're just kind of like awakening to this, um, of course, we can do the work now and time is not actually linear. So it helps the children and it helps the people that are coming after us um for me you know we've decided to homeschool because we want to have a life by design and we want to travel around that's not available or it's not a choice uh that suits every every person and the reason why it doesn't suit them is because everybody has different purposes and different things that feel correct for them and you know for us this was very energetically correct. It was very energetically correct to, to work with my manifest generated children, to actually invite them to turn up their superpowers and to say, what is it you want to do and how do you want to play? And if I don't want you to be um, fitting into a boxed structure, you know, how can we utilize your own potencies in this world and your superpowers what if woo woo and consciousness and 5d and your senses and your all of your clears what if this was your norm as you talk to fairies and as you acknowledge Gaia Sophia and you are this divine beautiful channel without limitations so of course homeschooling was a natural choice for us because we can and my children are these incredible pave makers for other beings. You know, we're all here to activate each other with our blueprints. And that's the thing. No one is higher than anybody else. And everybody has the ability to be spiritually wealthy, <laughs> spiritually healthy and spiritually aligned um, within their relationships. So the woo-woo is now becoming the norm and the kids that are coming through uh, they will not be able to tolerate the old paradigm uh, because they are more 5D beings. Um, they are here to help us wake up. And in fact, one of the things that our children do is they wake us up. So in the old paradigm, it was like bringing your children up and fitting them into a mold. Um, you know, if, you, if you're a university child, then you're a university child. If you're clever enough intellectually, intellectually, you know. <laughs> um, in fact, I was told that I had to get a trade because I was good with my hands and I was creative. And that was my, that was a gift that I had. So um, I'm, I'm grateful that my parents encouraged that. But the, the lower expression of that as well is I'm not clever enough to go to university, right? So now we have to reframe everything and say it's not about the education. It's not about what people are good at or what they're not because if we're doing that, then we're making these ADHD kids and these autistic children, we're making them less than. There's nothing wrong with these children. In fact, we need to be looking at them and saying, what is the gift that you be to this world and what can you teach me, child? I literally honor my children and I say to them every single day, thank you for coming in and showing me. Thank you for helping me. I am so grateful. But what did I do, mummy? You are you and I love you just as you are. No matter what, I love you no matter what you are and who you be, right? So this is how the shifts are going to happen in the parenting, uh, whether kids are going to school and coming home and we're just reframing things. Um, it's about empowering the children of the world, the up and coming leaders, uh, to know what they stand for because they already come in knowing that they are allowed to be spiritually aligned and wealthy and healthy and have great relationships. It is the adults that teach them and imprint their own trauma onto them that stops them from actually 
receiving their birthright. So if we can work on ourselves and we can tap into the gift that we have and uncondition ourselves from the limiting beliefs and the mistaken beliefs that we've taken on from society, from the, you know, the ancestral um, lineage that has, has come through by doing light language, by doing the meditations, by opening our consciousness and our awareness and changing our, even our vocabulary by empowering ourselves and choosing ourselves before we are actually saying yes to others we're saying yes to ourselves, then what happens is we become these role models for the children of the world, for the world, for the beings that are in the world. And right now, uh, the children that are coming in, the souls are coming in, they are coming into a little bit of, you know, chaos. The chaos is not a bad thing, but we must, we must keep our eyes out for these kids. Everything I do, my biggest why is for the children of the world and it is for where we are going through consciousness. As we are becoming more stable in this 5D reality, we must have more beings, more souls awakening to their purpose. Now, a purpose isn't like, I have an online business and then I'm going to do this and I hit my first 10K months or 20K months or whatever. That there is not purpose, right? Money is just a residue of being in alignment. Having those 10K months for some people is the most, and it was for me, one of the most challenging things I ever did. And when I dropped all expectation of how I was supposed to make money and I started focusing on my dream of reaching people to help them to awaken the seed of consciousness, it started flowing. It came in in different ways, in different forms. And it's that trust and knowing that whatever I do comes from a deep sense of integrity and from being authentic within myself and realigning and re-looking at myself and knowing that there's nowhere to hide. This is the biggest thing for entrepreneurs. You know, a lot of people think that people can see them online and... As long as they can see them online, as long as they're in their perfect mode, as long as they're giving tangible results, that is all they have to be. But people are waking up and they can see through those holistic practitioners or those coaches who are not in their integrity. They can see through it and then they drop off and they go, there's something off about that. We don't know what it is because we're listening to our emotional intelligence and we're listening to our authorities that were in human design we've got different ways to listen to our different intuitions right it's not always a hit for someone sometimes it's a whisper for other people it's a self-projection like what do I know about this and actually asking themselves a question right we are all so unique and so different and it goes much deeper than star signs it goes much deeper than an energy type in human design it goes much deeper than your uh, intelligence your mental intelligence right or even your emotional intelligence your soul has been working on this for a very 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 long time and many of you have been on many 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 different planets and different star systems you know and if you said to me well actually someone did say to me about six years ago wow I have never seen anyone like you you're a star seed and you are what I would say as a priestess Um, of one of the highest orders and I literally burst out laughing and I said are you calling me an alien I was brought up Catholic you know and I was brought up religious for a reason because there's this religious theme that comes through and now I'm a Reiki master and I work with the Christ energy and the three Marys it's a very beautiful beautiful thing but I burst out laughing and said starseed what do you mean but that they woke me up to the possibility of What if I have been on other planets? What if I am here for a really big purpose? I always thought I was perfectly average plain Jane who was brought up a certain way and have an interest in ghosts. And wow, I can feel ghosts sometimes. But then I realized that is just the teeniest, tiniest, littlest part of a perspective of me. 
of Victoria. But my soul is so much greater and grander and expansive that my brain could never comprehend that. So instead of thinking with my brain, I come into my soul and I expand. And this is what I do is I, I teach people to get out of their head and start recognizing their soul. Start awakening that seed of consciousness so they can be that space for these children. And these children need us right now. They need us to see them. They need us to acknowledge them. And they need us to hold the space so they can hold on to that remembrance of who they are. And this is the thing. They're coming in conscious. They're coming in with all senses. And what they're doing is they're gifting it to the world and the generations or the people that are so stuck in their mistaken beliefs and their trauma and their shadows are trying to keep these these children safe by limiting them. But what if we didn't limit them? What if we asked them the questions and said to them, hey, you're on a soul experience here and I'm here to help guide you. What do you need from me? You know, there's the logistics of changing the nappies and feeding the children and bathing them and saying, hey, you better go to bed, it's getting late. That is just the simplistics of parenting. It's just the practical stuff, right? That's the human stuff. We've got these human bodies and we come in extremely vulnerable, but our souls know. Our souls know. So my question to you is, what do you know? What do you know about your soul journey and the easiest way to know your soul journey and your soul purpose is to expand into a beautiful deep meditation i have some of these available on youtube where you can literally tap into something so much greater than just your mind and don't get me wrong your mind is a wonderful thing but you can expand where you don't feel your body anymore and you connect into the being of who you truly be which is beyond the human body, right? And this is what I bring into Magnificent Mediumship and my one-to-one -one coaching is an invitation to awaken that, that seed of consciousness and to grow into who it is you are. Remember who you are already. So if this feels like it's a bit like you and this resonates and you're interested in go, going deeper with me on a one-to-one -one basis, I have currently Magnificent Mediumship, which is my signature program that you can come through in a live or you can buy it in a self-study on my website, victoriabond.co.nz. Or I have another offer called Metamorphosis, and that is a 12-week journey with me where you get to have calls with me every single week. You get high intimacy with me um, on Voxer, and you have access to my programs that I've done if you want to do this and you want to have support doing this, I would be honored to be your guide. You can book at a clarity call with me. I only have a handful of people I work with at a time. It's a very sacred space. So um, yeah, book in a call and we'll see if we're a fit. Enjoy your day. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining the Release Your Blocks podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, I would love to hear from you. So please leave a review and tell me what your favorite takeaway from today was. There is so much more from where this came from. You can also find me at Holistic Energy Shifting on Facebook, where you can find more content, more coaching, and more guidance. Have a grand and glorious day, and I'll see you next time.